Uh, yeah, good. Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Chirag Ahuja. Uh, I work as an energy trading and risk management consultant with Wipro Technologies. Uh, coming all the way from the Silicon Valley of India, Bangalore. Uh, my first time in Singapore. Extremely excited to be here and uh, look forward to learn as much and share as much as I know with you all. My topic for today is uh, next generation commodity and energy trading firms uh, and how they're basically viewing the new technologies. It, it may go off. As part of my job, uh, for the past five years, I've been working very closely uh, with energy and commodity trading companies, uh, basically to solve their problems either by implementing the right design approach, uh, putting in the right governance structures in place, or leveraging technology uh, to do so. Uh, basically, there's a problem in the industry. Uh, whether you're a crude oil trader, natural gas, copper, agriculture, rubber, whatever. For the documentation to come all in place today for physical trading requires about a two week process to get it all consolidated and all in one place. Uh, let me take you through a simple example of this uh, process. So if there's a physical trader, he initiates a trade, goes to the counterparty, the counterparty reviews it and it comes back to him. Great. A lot of financial transactions finish there. But the problem with the physical trading is you have to actually move the commodity from point A to point B. And that's where it gets slightly a bit more complex. What happens is the physical trader then has to review a longer form of the contract uh, with his operator and his contractual department. And that creates further documentation in the system. And the same thing happens on the other side of the transaction. That guy over there has to do it with his trader and they review this clause by clause for each person. If this is boring, then a lot more happens all around. Uh, I won't get into that. Basically, uh, an, uh, an operator, someone who actually takes care of all the documentation, handles about, a good operator handles about 30 to 50 shipments every month. Now, if, if you take this as a base report of 20 documents per trade, per movement, uh, you can exponentially scale how much of documentation accuracy is required. And this just gets even more complex because it, you have to communicate between different channels and it changes every time. So what, what do we do about this? First of all, you see this, a lot of this process is still archaic. Laws and processes in place are still 150 years old and haven't really changed much. The process is painfully slow in today's commodity trading world, in, in the world we live in. It's extremely labor intensive. There are dedicated back offices which just take care of these reports, do the uh, settlements, invoicing and ensure that your, uh, you have accuracy in information. because. Billions of dollars are at stake here with respect to every trade. The system, because of all these faults, is extremely prone to fraud. And uh, there have been enough number of cases in the past where uh, fraudulent transactions have taken place. It's opaque in nature uh, and operationally quite expensive because of the other factors. So, uh, this, this is basically the problem here. Uh, before we look into what we're sort of doing at Wipro uh, with our clients, uh, let me just take you through a small story. So, uh, there was a, in one of the design teams, while they were planning to build one of the largest uh, refineries in the world, uh, a designer got up and said, well, uh, let's have a goal that this entire refinery with all its, all its complexities can be run by a dog. So the other engineer got up and asked, whoa, what do you mean it should be run by a dog? 
what will man do so the designer said the man will feed the dog and with that approach extrapolating it and bringing in that level of automation uh, let's see what we can do first of all if you see uh, if there was a possibility that refineries or food processing companies could uh, post a set of order transactions onto a platform and then trading companies could uh, auto to build uh, could build algorithms which rank uh, these orders posted based upon uh, their algorithm of which they can fulfill and of course this algor algorithm will be a cost minimizing uh, function uh, and yet take care of the multitude and magnitude of uh, economic factors at play the resulting output would probably spit out a, uh, an offer price for those crude oil posts uh, along with a dollar value plus a delivery location and specified time and so on uh, it's possible that the same competitive spirit will cascade on to other members within the within the chain such as insurance companies inspectors brokers vessel operators and so on uh, credit Uh, uh, insurance companies could be given the opportunity because they could build uh, you could build a credit uh, layer an analytics on top of this where uh, real life performance of these different assets feed back into the identity of every of every real life performing asset and therefore gives it a credit score thereby allowing you to add a fair dollar value insurance uh, to every transaction you can imagine a galaxy of uh, iot sensors uh, measuring quality quantity and other specs which are then fed into the contractual clauses which then trigger certain events based upon uh, those clauses if uh, pilots of this nature succeed there is a huge potential uh, to create an ecosystem where one where developers could build apps on top of this uh, let me give you a small example for example uh, building a distribution application where you could uh, you could charge a fee uh, from food processing companies who would love uh, who would love the data that you collect from users on their dietary intake because that allows them to optimize their supply chain better and you could pass on that revenue onto the masses thereby flipping the entire revenue model which we hear of which uh, using the possibility of the blockchain platform of course uh, this won't be the uh, this particular use case problem won't be the single one it has to be operatable with other uh, use cases which are being built out there currently maybe some will focus just on finance some will focus just on vessel operations ours will focus just on documentation and so on and so forth so interoperability between the different platforms will be a key for success based upon uh, our experience what we think are the principles for a successful commodity trading blockchain platform number 1 collaborative if it's a consortium based uh, even if it's open source you have to have collaboration among all parties within that consortium you should have a view of singularity that is all the functionality you agree upon before you build on the chain definitely open source not just in terms of tech but in terms of business use a lot of uh, business users are not able to transact or move or take part in the commodity value chain just because it's so labor it's so labor intensive as well as so capitalized of course like any other blockchain platform you have to appreciate uh, be very very appreciative of privacy and in this case it becomes even more even more important interoperability obviously and education i think is a uh, is a must need of the art not just uh, for for new age developers but also for people within the business to understand what benefits can this platform bring to you uh being a risk guy i always think like what can go wrong so uh, 
primary re uh, primary reason is regulators don't play ball. Uh, they they simply don't come up on board. Uh, number two, technology limits. Uh, one of the reasons uh, I'm also here is because I need I want to understand how far can you push this tech to. Uh, there is low acceptance of the platform across the different business users, and finally, if there's a massive price crash, it removes the innovation budget, which does not let you create cool stuff like this. But want to finish on a happy note. Uh, what can go right? There's the mass adoption of this new world platform. Uh, the tech continues to grow exponentially. Uh, Singapore's a hub uh, for blockchain right now. All the cool stuff really happens here. And uh, there's support of the community to build this going forward. Uh, this would result in a massive drop in cost of operations, making uh, uh, commodities cheaper across the globe. Of course, it creates a flourishing new ecosystem where developers, business users come together and build apps which then build a new uh, stream of revenues for everyone uh, within the ecosystem. Uh, with that, thank you for listening to me and I look forward to interact with you all. Thank you. What have you actually implemented in the blockchain so far? Uh, so we've done a pilot okay. uh, uh, for uh, uh, for a few uh, consortiums, uh, and overall, the, as a company, we've done uh, about I think over fifty projects, all proof of concepts. Okay. And uh, within specifically within the energy place, I have been involved in three. Could you talk about those? Uh, well, this was the sort of problem statement we were trying to solve. And uh, I think more than that, I'm not sure how much uh, I could talk. Uh, I'm, uh, but I, I could probably one-on-one -on -one with you okay. and have that. Yeah. But yeah, the, 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 the meat of the problem is this. There are open white papers out there uh, which, yeah, which yeah, talk about this more. Is what, what is in production as well? Um, yeah, this is a proof of concept. I'm hearing words, but what has been implemented? What is in production? What were, what are the tech problems you faced? Right. Okay. Uh, well, from the business end, uh, this was it, uh, okay. and I'd love to share more after. Yeah, so in fact a multitude of factors uh, were at play uh, to choose the right platform and in fact we've still not got there. <laughs> it's, we, we don't know which one uh, to go with. Uh, uh, while, while our pilots were done on few platforms, there's, there's certain startups who have their own little, uh, who have their own platform, we, we tried with that as well. Uh, so we, we don't know which one to go with yet, but I think we'll eventually choose one in uh, the coming few weeks. Okay, uh, thank you, thank you very much, thank you.